Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley preview. Some very cool stuff from Mini GT that is coming out soon. Mini GT is the 164 division of TSM model. And since I'm doing a preview, why not do a showcase along with it? So this new stuff is surrounded by some existing stuff also from Mini GT that I am very excited to show off. The folks at Mini GT were nice enough to send these models for me to preview for you. They also sent me some other stuff that uh, is already out. And I'll showcase, we're gonna open those up and showcase those for you. I am all in on this brand. I have told you, I think it's pretty clear. I like to showcase a lot of brands on the channel. Um, some that are like this functional 164, like rolling wheels, playable, all that kind of stuff. That's where this, that's this category. I show some display models like Tarmac Works 2, kind of a different lineage, you know, from the display kind of, a lot of those brands that come out of Asia that are all about display. But there are four brands that I kind of core brands that I collect, obviously Hot Wheels and Matchbox, and then a couple of premium brands, Auto World for their American cars. I really like what they do and Tomic Limited Vintage for their Japanese cars and their perfect replicas from Japan and obviously some from Europe. Mini GT falls perfectly between those two brands in that supercar, custom car, that sort of thing. Um, they fall perfectly and I am all in. So you want to ask me what I collect? Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Auto World, Tomic Limited Vintage, and Mini GT. I am super excited to expand my collection and the core of this video, you're going to see a lot of coverage from me in the coming weeks and months from Mini GT. The core of this one is this truck here. Actually, both of these. This one's already out. The Mercedes-Benz Actros Car Carrier Trailer. And then we're going to preview this one, which is not out yet. So... In order to show off that trailer, I need to pick six cars. Why not pick six cars that we can showcase today uh, as part of this? So we need to get to it. There's a couple of models that they have already, that they sent with these that will open up. Um, you, as you're looking here, you can see some classic cars. You see Pandem and Liberty Walk. You see supercars. Here's another one. I'm going to open up this McLaren Senna. This one's already out. You can get it over at Surplus Goodies. They're a Lamley partner. There's also another Pandem. I already have one Pandem open. We're going to open up this Pandem in blue. Here in the United States, by the way, Miho Exclusive is the distributor of Mini GT for those that are in the U.S. You can get them uh, through a bunch of other distributors uh, in Asia. And then I'm really excited about these two because of the paint. And we'll get to that in a second. Liberty Walk GTR in this Magic Pearl. And then another Liberty Walk GTR in Magic Purple. We'll get to the mag magic portion of this paint in just a second. So let's uh, start with these two and let's get them open like now. All right. The McLaren Senna. I don't know what this racing livery is based off of, but I know that this casting is super, super cool. One thing that was noted to me is that the exhausts are separate pieces. They will go to whatever lengths they need to to make sure that this thing looks as exact as it can in 164. And 164, shrinking down a model to 164, is an art more than a science. It's, you have to really be clever, and uh, it's not just shrinking down the parts, to be sure, and this thing is so crisp and so beautiful. I think it is absolutely fantastic. Like I said, this McLaren Senna has been out. They've done several colors. I really like this one in orange and white uh, that they sent over. The other one is this Pandem Nissan GTR. I already have one here um, in this kind of candy apple color with the back spoiler. Once again, you can see how exact um, these pieces are on these cars. And they roll, in case you're wondering... Also, I think another detail, they roll really well, but I always think another detail is kind of cool. These side mirrors, as detailed as they are, they're kind of rubber see the little give that they have. That's so they don't snap off. And sometimes in these type of models, look, you're not going to you're not going to run this thing down a track. You're not going to run it down the driveway, but these things function well and they roll beautifully. They're smooth, they run smooth. Um and so yeah, I love that functionality and the weight that these models have. Uh they're pure. They they've got some heftiness to them. Here's the next Pandem in blue. I think they've done a couple. This one doesn't have the big spoiler on it, um, but I really do like this one. I like the detailed wheels. To be perfectly honest, like I really liked the Pandem GTRs I got uh, from Ignition model in 164, highly detailed, but they are resin. They don't move, and they do need to stay displayed. 
This one really fits. I mean, it's as detailed as those ignition. And I really like ignition. But this one, the fact that this one rolls and functions, I mean, it's just really tight. It's just really clean, this model. So uh, these are two that we can consider to put on. We'll move these boxes out of the way. Um, to put, include on this six-car trailer once we open it up. But uh, let's look at these other two. I'm really excited about these two. Two Liberty Walk GTRs. We've seen a lot of Liberty Walk GTRs. In fact, if you look right over here, I've got a bunch of them rolled up. Here's uh, here's the Advan, for example. Different than the Pandem. You can see the spoiler's different, but equally clean and beautiful. Look at all the detail, even on the underside of the spoiler. Mini GT does not hold back. Um, they want to keep this thing functioning, like I said, and they want to keep these intact like too many pieces make it a little too fragile but these are really well constructed love the advan livery on this one so we have two more and these are going to be very interesting because this is what i want to turn your attention to this one's a toys r us exclusive i think obviously in asia um, that they sent but this one is in magic pearl that one's in magic purple and if i start showing it in the light we're going to get this out of the package you can see there's something going on here and i turn your attention to this Featuring paint by, and I'm not going to even try and pronounce it, D-S-Y-A-S. That might be how you pronounce it. Special coatings. This is real car paint on these models. And it's the kind of color changing paint that you've seen on some cars. And this is legitimately the exact paint you would see on those cars. They worked with them in both of these. This one doesn't show it, but the same kind of thing is happening here. with this. Uh, they're using that kind of paint here on this GTR. So... Should we get them open? Let's do it. We are going to start with the Magic Pearl. I can't tell you which one I like better. I'm throwing this one. I'm going to play with the light a little bit so you can kind of see the rainbow going on on this thing. And then we'll put it on the turntable. Magic Pearl indeed with the gold rims, crisp, crisp spoiler. Everything cool going on with this one. Like I said, this it's the DSYAS real car paint on this thing. And it is incredible. So Liberty Walk, I mean, obviously these cars are over the top. And this paint really takes it to the next level. Here's Magic Purple. Carbon fiber hood. Love the uh, kind of was it the light blue, that kind of fluorescent blue on the rims, which adds really well to this magic purple color, which changes obviously no matter the way any way you look at it. That looks fantastic. All right, so these are the models. We'll go ahead and get rid of these boxes as well. These are the models that. Mini GT has provided outside of those two big trucks in the back. And we've got to pick six cars. So we've already looked at the four models that they sent. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the purple, the magic purple. That's gonna be one of the six cars. I think I'm gonna go also. We gotta go with a nice variety. So let's pick another one. A lot of supercars coming out, but they've also done some classics, the E30 BMW uh the BMW M3 E30. We're going to go ahead and add that one to the trailer uh, once we uh, once we open it up. I really, I know we already have a Liberty Walk, but I'm putting this Lamborghini Aventador there as well. This is an all-timer for me from Mini GT. I've had it for a while. Somewhat hard to find now, um, but in black with these gold rims. Really digging that one, so that one's going to go up there. And then let's go back to some of these... Uh, some of these supercars back here. I think we'll go with the uh, Porsche 911 GT3. This one you can start seeing as they go like away from the Liberty Walk, which they still will do a ton of, and then into these, you know, just standard, standard is the wrong word, but like stock, quote unquote, supercars. How about, whoa, almost dropped it, but kind of push the mirror up. I can push it down. See how it's kind of rubbery on the Pagani Wyra. This is the Roadster. We're going to go ahead and add that one. Almost lost it. And then last one, I'd love to go with the Bentley. We've already looked at the McLaren, so maybe we'll go with the Bentley in blue. 
But I do want to show you the stock McLaren back here. We already had the orange and white one, but you can see this fantastic uh, McLaren here, which looks a lot like the stock one that they released. I've had this one for a while as well, and you can see how detailed it is. Um, all the little pieces, everything else we've already talked about. So we'll put the McLaren back. We're going to add the Bentley. You're going to see a direction with Mini GT going into some of these road cars. So they'll have the racing cars, the custom cars, and of course these fantastic road cars. All right, so we've got to add these to the car carrier. Should we do it? Well, let's just... This is so big, it's going to be too wide in the shot. So I'm going to show you the box here. And I'm going to kind of move it across. Obviously, this isn't scale. 164. It says Actros right here. Detailed 164. Diecast metal. Accurate undercarriage. We'll take a look at that. And the rolling wheels with the rubber tires. You got all this moving parts here. We just need to get to it. Now, I think I'm going to have to do one of my snaps here because we need some space. So here we go. All right. Let's open this thing up. We're going to figure out how to open it up first. Oh, looks like we have some. I'll try and. Oh, yeah, look at that. Keep this box. All right, so we're going to have to cut some tape. Get out this cab. They've done some, uh, oh boy. We're gonna have to cut both sides. They've done some cab, just some cabs too, but these are the two trucks that have done. I think there's another carrier coming. If I remember, it's in yellow. So this one's been out a while. Um, you can imagine, these are not gonna be $10. They are um, somewhat pricey, but you should expect that from detail. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's just have a look at this right now. There is some heft to this. There's some weight to it. It's going to be impossible to put the trailer on here, so we're just going to take a look at this unbelievable cab. Look at the mirrors in metal. The grill, everything is in metal. We're going to let that turn around. You can even see like the wiring in the back obviously this is going to attach to the trailer this thing's insane all right i'm looking at it for the first time in person it said detailed undercarriage here's the undercarriage and it is detailed to be sure that is unbelievable all right so there and look at the look at the uh mirrors on here Get up close, including on this side. That's unbelievable. I have just... When you see something like this that's in that kind of detail, it's just so hard to not just smile. If you're a die-cast collector, how can you not? All right, let's take a look at this trailer. Oh, we're upside down. That's okay. Oh man, this is hefty too. Let's move that. Oh, I'm just like a little kid right now. We'll turn this thing around. Okay, these are metal. This wire is metal. It's got this part that rolls out here on the back. And you can just slide that back. Oh my goodness. I don't know if the uh, top adjusts. I don't think it does because I don't think it mentioned on the box that it does. So I think you just have to place them on top. That is fine. We've got the I've got the car carriers from Tomic Limited Vintage too, but like the finer parts here with this metal piece, that's insane. Okay, all right. So this is the attaching piece. Oh, this adjusts. I don't know if it pulls out. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so that just fits. Oh my goodness, I just love this. 
All right, let's load it up. Okay, so I said I would, we'd add a Liberty Walk Aventador. And actually, let's just go with the smaller with the BMW. We'll put like right there. And let's add the Porsche up here. How about this carrier was, if you were driving by it on the highway, I would imagine you'd be somewhat impressed. Yeah, see this one? That's one can stops it from rolling back. Same thing right here. All right, so let's uh, roll up the Liberty Walk. Let's go ahead and put a Pagani in there. As much as I like this Pagani, I doubt is the carrier. I doubt you would see a Pagani being trailed around in this like that. But, you know, why not? And I'll put that right here. Roll this up. I should probably feature both of these trailers in, uh, or these trucks in their own video. But how cool is that? Of all these cars here, which I like, I think it's the Actros cab that I like the most. And this thing functions beautifully. Look at that. All right, let's move this right here. Got to make sure it doesn't hit all these pieces on my Tomica Rama. I am so impressed. All right, let's look at the other truck. This one I got to be careful with because it is really heavy. If all that's metal, think about this thing because this is metal too. And that's what I'm really excited to show you. So let's get these pieces out. Same thing here. All right. Let's have a look at this cab. We'll put it on the turntable real quick. You can see all the details are the same on this one. Well, actually, the mirror's on a different side. Because the, oh my goodness, this is a right-hand drive. So it is a little different. Well, don't they have fun? How cool is that? So mirror's a little bit different. Everything is metal once again, except they've reversed it because this is a right-hand drive truck. And let's take a look at this container. I am super excited to do that while you're looking at the truck. I'm going to cut open this container. Oh, boy. So the container itself is its own separate piece. And look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look at the detail on the lever there. Obviously, oh, I'll get this in space. Obviously, that you got to be careful with. You don't want that to snap off. But these parts do screw as it showed. So you can screw those down. There's your undercarriage, which is highly detailed. You even have the spare tire there. And oh my goodness, three axles. So let's move the trip. Okay. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. So there's the truck. Here's the container. And it is all metal. Every bit of it. And realism is the key here. Check this out. Hear that clank of the metal? And look at the inside. There we go. Stay open. That's like a legitimate container. <laughs> and I guess you would just place it like you would in Long Beach right on top. And it, yep, it sits flush. Just, you gotta, I guess, adjust it back where it needs to. There we go. And there we go. And that is heavy. And here's the cool thing. If that's not cool enough, and that's amazing. And you might be asking the price. I think it's going to be a good 70, 80 bucks, if not more. If that's not cool enough, this is the other part. They're doing other containers, just solely the container. This one's evergreen. So licensed containers, what do you think of that? Oh man, I'm just okay. Now I'm just, I'm truly just a giddy kid. You can buy, once these come out, 
hefty container, same thing, totally detailed. Done in all this detail inside. And go to Long Beach, get this one shipped out. And now you're going to haul Evergreen. <laughs> I don't know if these actually stack. Yeah, they stack. Not, they don't lock in, but they do stack. Obviously, no one's going to haul it that way. And if you don't want to go with the license, then just go with the plain unmarked hauler as well. Is this not the coolest? I mean, if I just said to you, hey, they do containers, I don't know if too many people would be that excited about a container. But when you know that it's all metal, it is, I'm not kidding, this thing is super heavy. It's super detailed. And it can be, see, same type of thing here. And then it can be interchangeable on the, oh, this one's, this one really does sit nice on the Actros truck. I think you can't be a 164 collector and not get excited about that. That is just the coolest. I am so impressed. I can't tell you I am genuinely impressed with how cool this stuff is. So you buy the truck, you're getting this one. But you're going to be able to buy other containers if you want to. And they are impressive. All right, guys, that's Mini GT. Long video. I'm sorry for it, but no, I'm not, because this stuff is really, really cool. You will see these trucks out very, very soon. Car Carrier already is out. Mini GT has a ton of cool stuff coming. Wait till you see what it is. And I'll be doing more Mini GT very soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye.